Okay, we've got ourselves a combo circuit. We've got a couple of resistors that are in series with two resistors in parallel. So what we need to do is solve for the voltages and currents in the entire circuit, which basically means we need to know the voltage across this resistor, R1, and the current through it, the voltage across R2 and R3, and the current going through each of those, the voltage across R4, and the current going through R4. So we need to know everything there is about the circuit. To start off, I want to take a look at these two resistors right here. So those two resistors are in parallel. I'm just going to go over here. And we have a relation for resistors in parallel. And I call the resistor we're looking for the equivalent. I want to find a resistor which can replace these two right here. So we're going to call it the equivalent resistance. So 1 over REQ equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Now when I go to punch this into my calculator, I'm going to use a button that says 1 over X. So the way I type it into my calculator is I will say 2, 1 over X, plus 3, 1 over X, equals. And we get 0.8. 333. Three, three. Now you'll notice that this is the denominator. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this side and this side. So on your calculator you've got 0 0.83333. Three, three, three. You hit the 1 over x button one more time which is going to flip this side and flip this side. And we end up with our EQ is 1.2 ohms. Now what this really means is I could take a 1.2 ohm resistor and put it in here to replace those two. So now what I'm going to do is resketch my circuit. And the circuit looks like this. Here's my source, 24 volts. Here was the first resistor, which was 1 ohm. Here is the new resistor, the equivalent, which is 1.2 ohms. And finally, our 4 ohm resistor. So we've taken a combination circuit, which looked a little bit complex. We've got one, two, three, four resistors, and we've now turned it into a very simple series circuit. Job number one is to determine what is the current in the circuit, total circuit current, IT. Now IT is equal to VT over RT. VT is a total voltage, which would be 24 volts and total resistance. Now all we need to do is add up 1 ohm, 1.2 ohms, and 4 ohms. So that would give us 6.2 ohms. So to calculate the total circuit current, it's 24 divided by 6.2, which gives us 3.87 amps. So there are 3.87 amps coming out of the power supply and going through this resistor right here. 3.87 amps also goes through this resistor, but remember this resistor wasn't here. This actually replaced R2 and R3. Um, and there is 3.87 amps going through this last resistor. So we're going to take a look at our chart. And whenever we do these, we have a little chart that we fill out. And here's all of our variables. Here's our R1. Uh, what's the voltage for R1, what's the current for R1, uh, R2, R3, and R4. Okay, so we're going to start filling in this chart. Now if I go back to this sketch right here, I know for a fact that there is 3.87 amps coming out of this battery or this power supply, which means R1, which is our first resistor, has to have 3.87 amps. So go back to our chart, and we can now add... I1 is 3.87 amps. Now to calculate the voltage is very straightforward. V1 is I1 times R1. So V1 is, we already know the current, 
3.87. We know the resistance was 1 ohm. So the voltage across resistor number 1 is 3.87 volts. So there's V1 and there's I1. So we filled in two boxes on our chart. Let's go back to take a look at the circuit. We know that 3.87 amps has to go, this is a simple closed circuit, so it has to go through this last resistor. This 4 ohm resistor was R4. So if we go to our chart, we know that I4 is 3.87 amps. And we can go over to this first column and solve for V4. So V4 is I4 times R4, which would be 3.87 amps, and the resistor was 4 ohms. So if we multiply that together, 15.48, which we can round to 15.5 volts. So there is our V4. So we now have all of this information. We know everything about resistor 1. We know everything about resistor 4. We just don't know about resistors 2 and 3. So go back to our original diagram. Um, here's resistor 2 and resistor 3. If I knew the voltage across these two, that would really help us out because then we could also solve for the current. So if we go back to our little diagram right here, I would like to find the voltage across this resistor. Now 1.2 ohms is the equivalent resistance, so I'm just going to call that VEQ. And I can solve for VEQ by going I times R. Now the I is 3.87 amps because that's our circuit current and the resistance is 1.2 ohms. So my equivalent voltage would be 3.87 times 1.2. So 4.64 volts. So that is the voltage across this resistor right here. But this resistor, this 1.2 ohms, was actually these two right here. Which means we now know the voltage across R2 and R3. And we can go to our chart, and we now know that V2 is 4.64 volts, and V3 is 4.64 volts. And now that we know our voltage, we can calculate our current. I2 will be equal to V2 over R2, which will be 4.64 divided by 2, because it's a 2 ohm resistor. So that gives us 2.32 amps. And for our last box, I3 is V3 over R3, so 4.64 volts divided by 3 ohms, which would be 1.55 amps. So we have now solved for all of the information, all of the variables. We have our V1, our I1, our V2, our I2, our V3, our I3, and our V4 and our I4. And by putting it into this chart, it's very easy to see that there's nothing that we've missed. So we have now completely solved for this combination circuit.